the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of one piece so last episode um and Eru's just doing his god lightning thing he's wreaking havoc on everyone and everything and trying to shut down skypea i think we did a good job in shutting down the ship right so his destruction is like not going to be as you know as expedited but him himself is lightning so he can still you know naturally destroy everything and that's what he's doing he's just he's just he's just doing his lightning thing okay doing it doing his uh, his thor thing so um and we gotta wait for luffy to lug his lug his ass over there with this huge golden ball attached to his hand <laughs> we gotta wait for luffy to climb that giant beanstalk um and 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 land that fucking haymaker that we're all waiting for you know what i'm saying as far as everyone else goes everyone else is pretty much out of commission zoro zoro is still sleeping actually they just woke up wiper and zoro just woke up and they're still super injured gonfall just woke up super injured sanji and usopp just took some more lightning bolt hits you know what i mean uh robin is like, exhausted from, from trying to take care of everyone nami's really the only one that can help luffy and honestly she might be the one that can give him the most help because she was able to parry i haven't forgotten that she was able to parry one of um anera's attacks on her own with her um with her little clean attack you know what i'm saying so if anyone can aid luffy right now besides isa who has really good mantra it's definitely nami so i agree with her going up on her waiver to go with luffy you know she's she, i hope she's i like how she's um she's definitely pulling her weight you know what i'm saying and we can go down that rabbit hole again but i'm, I'm not i can go on and on for that i can rant for days about that uh for some characters not being useful but yeah nami's pulling her weight she's doing things okay um, but we need Luffy to get his ass up there, you know. Uh, he, he always seems to, seems to find himself in a predicament to where his, his one of his body parts is stuck to something. I don't know how he keeps how it keeps happening to him. I know he's a man made of rubber, but Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, Luffy is the ultimate counter. Luffy is the only one that can knock this dude out, and that's what we need. That's pretty much it. And until then, he's gonna and Arrow's gonna try to destroy everything by just reaching out his hand and calling on the lightning. Cuff fucking OP as shit. Um, so yeah, that's where we're on the story. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is One Piece 100, uh, episode 187. Before we get into it, uh, if you guys are not a member of the YouTube, members get early access to these One Piece reactions, and I'm at least like 50 episodes ahead or something like that. So if you want to be able to have access to those, click that join button down below to become a member, okay? And of course, if you want to watch the full versions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. On that Patreon, you'll find the full version of all the One Piece reactions so far. And of course, so many other TV shows and animes, there's literally thousands of hours of content on that Patreon. So for five bucks, you would definitely be getting your money's worth, I promise you. All right, other than that, let's get into it. OP187, let's go. Who the hell is this dude? Is that the Kalgara guy that we've heard of? The old Shandy and Warrior? What the fuck? He looks kind of nuts. <laughs> Whoa. Is that Mont Blanc Noland? Are we doing a little flashback? Okay. I'm, I'm actually interested in this. I kind of want to know like the actual history, not what the fucking kids book said. Okay, let me see. Sacrifice? What the hell? So there are people being sacrificed and there are people dying from some kind of sickness, some kind of fungi back in the day. All right. Well, I'm very curious as to how this ties into what the hell is going on right now. Because you know it means something. I feel like everything matters in One Piece. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, 
何の処置もされていないあや,やべえぞこの島ドクターコニーネはまだあるかすぐにこの少年と我々全員に打つんだキネツープレイグ So it's a plague, damn. Also, I like how they're using the same voice actor for the for Mont Blanc Noland. As the same voice actor as、uh, the current Mont Blanc. I can't believe people actually used to fucking do this, man. This is some real life shit. People still do this, I think. Some fucking cultures still sacrifice people to some made up gods. It's crazy. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Why? Whoa. Oh. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Mont Blanc Nolan was kind of nice. He just chopped off the head. Zoro couldn't even do that. Hold up. Damn. That was kind of nice. Also, shout out to him. That poor girl is about to be sacrificed. <laughs> What? Bro, no. Calgar Calgaro was kind of crazy, guys. What the fuck? Stab yourself with this knife and kill yourself to the gods. That's so stupid. He was low key evil. Shit. Tell him, Mont Blanc. Fuck this cult shit. I will say I like k a l g a r a s Super Saiyan 5 hairstyle. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Are they gonna show us how Sky Island came about? Are they gonna show us the fucking legendary knock up stream that happened? Oh, I wanna see that. Okay, that's kinda dope. Alright, here's a little prediction. He's holding the cure to the plague in his right hand, which is currently like in, in between the crevices of the, of the earth. That was going on? I think that's going on, right? Um, so, it, 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 in a way, it's like he's, he's, able, he's willing to sacrifice a, a, a part of his body to save a whole clan that he doesn't even know. Some random ass people. That would definitely gain favor to anyone, no matter how evil you are. You know what I'm saying? So,、um, okay. Alright, l well, I like this. They're showing us the past. I think they could have done it in one episode, but it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Mont Blanc Nolan, Calgaro, we've heard these names. You know, they, these names have been said throughout here and there in the Sky Island arc. Now we're seeing them、uh, however many hundreds of years ago on who, who these men were, really were. Okay. Calgaro seemed like one of the leaders of this 
of this clan, of this cult that sacrificed fucking people for their god. Bullshit, by the way, you know. And there, bro, there's. I'm pretty sure there are still clans and cults doing that shit right now. I don't get it. I don't understand that stuff. But you know what? I guess I'm being ignorant. I might be naive um because they they probably have a just reason as to why they're doing that stuff in the first place but it just seems so wild to me sacrificing a whole ass human for something that you don't even 100 percent know exists so yeah uh anyway we off that um mom black nolan is actually kind of nice as a fighter he was able to slice off that next uh, that next head in one swing Zoro couldn't even do that so Nolan was kind of nice I didn't I didn't I thought he was just a an explorer you know and a liar you know what I'm saying but he was actually kind of nice himself so that's cool um and yeah he's trying to find the the, the cure for this plague that is uh, killing off these Shandians hundreds of them by the number every month every day or some type of shit um and that if I were to guess that gains favor with them they have a good relationship and uh and but most of all it looks like they're teasing us that whole little earthquake was the knockup stream like getting ready to blow you know so it looks like we're about to see how sky island or upper yard came about how did this whole thing start you know what i'm saying that's kind of dope we're gonna see the uh because we're we, we've seen the uh 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 the knockup stream that luffy and them took up to get to sky island but a knockup stream to lift the whole ass a half of an island must be huge and i i definitely want to see that that's some legendary shit you know what i'm saying so i like it i like how they're showing us the past because that makes the present even more uh you know valuable and meaningful right because um i mean let's be honest this sky island arc has been it's been kind of slow you know i would imagine a lot of people felt the same way um right because it seems like we're getting into the good episodes now the actual meaningful episodes but there are so many slow episodes where i just didn't care about you know what i'm saying uh, and it took a while to get there they're planting so many seeds but it took a while to get to where we are right now you know and i know this arc isn't even that long but it feels long because there's been so many meh episodes right but i feel like a lot of y'all i've even asked some of my friends who are really deep into one piece they were like yeah you kind of just have to get through the sky island arc you know and we have about we have about 10 ish episodes left um, but we're finally almost out of it um but luckily these last episodes are a, a lot better than the earlier ones so that's all good and i actually am interested in the history of this whole sky island thing right because that's the, that's the most interesting part to be honest okay um plus zoro's new moves and luffy's new moves so that's kind of cool as well but uh yeah man um sky island arc we're almost done with it and uh, mom like nolan and calgara nice to meet y'all and I, I i'm excited to learn more about them and and, and what happened in the past and what, what exactly the the, the naka stream looked like that was able to lift up a whole ass half of an island that's crazy that's crazy but yeah, anyway that's gonna be it for the reaction y'all if y'all enjoyed it y'all know what to do like comment subscribe hit the bell algorithm shit you know what i'm saying and of course join the discord if you haven't already um if you're watching this on the tube and you're not a member members get early access to these one piece reactions and i'm at least like 50 60 70 80 episodes ahead some crazy like that by now so if you want to be able to watch those click that join button down below to become a member okay and of course if you want to watch the full versions instead you can head over to my patreon which is linked down below in the description on that patreon you find the full version of all the one piece reactions so far and of course so many other tv shows and animes there's literally thousands of hours of content um on that patreon so for five bucks you would definitely be getting your money's worth i promise you all right other than that i'm out of here y'all have a good one and i will see you on the next episode on one piece all right peace